the most underutilized networking tools is a business card. They are an ambassador. Yeah, your ambassadors, even when you're not there. And I don't know about you. Sometimes I, I pick up a card and I think, where did I meet this person? Or I might even have written it, but I'm not quite sure what they do. So your business card, actually, there are some strategies that you can use so that your business card actually remains your ambassador because your business card is your sales tool. Here is more than a networking tool, your business card is your sales tool. One helpful thing that you can do is to put your photograph on the front because maybe people are meeting hundreds of people and they may only pick up your card again in two months' time. Having your photograph there will remind them who you are and that's why your visual appearance is also very important. When they see your face, they can link you with um, the conversation that you, that you had. Don't be shy about putting your awards uh, on your business card because they are your competitive edge. Life is very, very competitive and there are people equally as good as we are. They may even be better than we are. So if there's some award that you have won, put it there so that people know why you are different from your competitor. Don't be shy. Adding a tagline will help to focus the attention of your audience. Now this is where it's really important for you to understand what the essence of who you are or your company is or your brand is. Because when they see that tagline, then they will associate it with the face and that's when they will decide to call on you or not. Reprint your business cards as often as necessary. Don't think you're being economical and think, I don't want to throw them out, I'll wait until they wear out. Because if the information is not relevant, you're not doing yourself any favors. As soon as you've updated information, print some new ones, throw the old ones out. Do keep a spare box in your car or in your bag. Uh, and once you're down to your spare box, then you know it's definitely time to reprint because you could miss a good sales opportunity by not having enough cards to give out. Treat them as having value and offer your business card. Don't hand them out like free flyers, you know, have my business card because then they may be thrown and they may not have any value. You could ask, um, would you like my business card? May I give you my business card? Um, when you treat your card with some respect and of value, that's how they will stay in the minds of the other people. So here's to making up business cards that actually sell you. What about the reverse of the side? Put a list there of, um, if you have your brand logo, your company logo, put that, and also a list of your products and services. So on the front then, they're gonna see the face, they're gonna see your credentials, they're gonna see a tagline, how to contact you, and on the reverse, a list of products and services and maybe your logos. And so that pretty much is a pretty complete way of staying on someone's mind, including your Facebook page or something like that so that they can connect with you, okay?